Hey friends, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a tool that I use pretty much every single day or close to every single day and I didn't even know it existed until a couple years ago. I guess I was living under a rock, but we're gonna be talking about sweater shaving today and using sweater shavers. So if you guys aren't familiar with me or my channel, I am a full-time clothing seller over on the Poshmark app and a majority of the clothing I sell is pre-owned, secondhand, and sometimes that stuff can have a little bit of wear on it, perhaps a little bit of pilling, and the sweater shaver can be your best friend for getting rid of that and making an item basically look brand new again. So let's go ahead and get into today's video. So today I'm going to be talking about two different sweater shavers and I have used many over the course of the past couple years since I discovered them just trying to figure out which one I like best and I used to have this certain one I'm going to show you as my favorite and I still use it occasionally but I prefer this other one that I found more recently. So let's talk about the first one which is this little sweater shaver right here and this one I got on Amazon it is called the Cooter sweater shaver and it is just a nice little portable sweater shaver. What I do like about this one is it's rechargeable it doesn't use batteries. So there's actually this thing on the bottom that you can slide the plug out and you can just plug this entire thing into the wall and basically charge it whenever you need to charge it. Because I had tried a bunch that used batteries and even when I was using rechargeable batteries, I was just having to go through them so quickly. So I like this one a lot um, and you know, it does work fine. It's very affordable. It's a budget friendly option, but I was then starting to look for something a little more powerful and also potentially one that I could leave plugged in that had an AC adapter that um, I could use, you know, while it was plugged in. So this one, which I'm going to link both of them down in the description box below. So if you want to look at these and check them out, check out the description box. But this one is still okay, but it's not my favorite, okay? My absolute favorite and the one I've been using for probably like six months now, um, maybe a little bit less than that, is this one right here, which Compared to this other one, this is like a Mac Daddy. You can tell it is a lot bigger. Uh, the space, the compartment where the lint goes is a lot larger. And then also it has this plug, which is really, really long that you can plug in while you're using it. I really like this handle. It just, it almost feels like an iron to me for some reason. It's just, you know, easy to control. And then it has this large, um, I don't know what you call it, shaver area right there. So this one has been a dream to use, especially since this is so big and you can plug it in. I can shave a whole sweater without having to stop and recharge or empty this out. I just like that it's a little bit more efficient. The other thing I really like about this one is you can actually replace the blade, which is pretty important when you're using a sweater shaver, especially if you use it as frequently as I do, you probably need to replace the blade like every I don't know a few weeks to a month and that way it just stays sharp but the blade just pops out really easily and you can get replacements on Amazon um, the reason I actually didn't recommend this shaver sooner or I didn't talk about it sooner to everyone is because you used to not be able to purchase the replacement blades so I thought that was kind of a waste because it only came with two so you were buying a little bit more of an expensive sweater shaver but then you weren't able to replace the blades so then you just had to buy a whole nother one. I didn't think that was very practical so I wasn't recommending it until they started offering the replacement blades because now I definitely think it's worth the investment. Um, I think this one's around $30. I haven't looked lately um, but again I will link it down in the description box below and then the other one's a little bit more affordable but since you can replace the blades I hands down recommend this one and it's called the Wonder Lint by the way. So this is the Wonder Lint Shaver also purchased on Amazon and these things seriously have changed my life because not only can you shave sweaters and make those look like new again but you can use them on t-shirts or you know a lot of times that burnout type of material that I like to sell that can get pilled really easily or in between the legs on um, you know pants, jeans, especially Lululemon leggings. Lululemon leggings, certain ones pill pretty easily, um, the aligned pants especially, so I like to use them on that. 
So what I'm gonna do now is just go ahead and demo for you the way that I use the sweater shaver. And I'm gonna be using the Wonderlint to demo because honestly, like it's just my hands down favorite. It is the top one I recommend. And if you were to use the Cooter sweater shaver, you would just do something very similar, but I want you to see exactly how this one works. So let's go and start shaving. So the first thing that I want to demo the sweater shaver on are these Lululemon leggings. These are actually mine. They are the Align legging and for some reason this particular material gets really pilly. And you can see there's some pilling and wear on the seams. The other main part where there's pilling, and these are clean, I promise, I just washed them, are right here between the legs. For some reason, it just gets really pilled. However, I'm gonna show you that the sweater shaver is gonna make these look like new. So first, I'm going to shave right here. So I have my Wonderlit sweater shaver, and I just have these laying flat. And then all you're gonna do is turn this on. The on switch is on the very top and then it's gonna get a little loud. But what I'm gonna do is just then run this over the area that I wanna shave and I'm not pushing down hard. I am just barely going over it. And then all I'm gonna do is take a lint roller and I'm going to lint roll the area that I just shaved. And as you can see, those basically have no wear now on those seams where I just shaved. Now we're gonna do the main part. Let me fold these open. Okay, so what I did is I basically unfolded it so this area was laying flat, the area that I wanted to shave. And you want to try and keep it from being all bunched up. You want it to lay as smooth as possible. And now I am just going to take my sweater shaver and again, I don't want to press down really hard. I just want to barely go over it and let the fabric kind of, um, not necessarily catch, but just barely run over the sweater shaver part. So I'm going to just go ahead and turn this on. And then I always like to lint roll afterwards. But that was just that, you know, a couple seconds of a swipe of the sweater shaver and this was the before so that's the other side and this is the after so I could probably go over it one more time right there but I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side so that both of them are um, lint free or pill free And then again, I'm just going to take my lint roller and roll over that. So this is the after, and you can see they basically look like new. I mean, there's a little bit of lint on them just from the floor, but yeah, there is no more pilling on here, and all I did was take this sweater shaver, the Wonder Lint, rub it over for a couple seconds, and you're good as new. The next item I wanna show you is a t-shirt. I sell a lot of graphic tees, and sometimes you can find really amazing vintage tees. This one's not vintage, but if you look closely, you can see there is some pilling under the armpit area. Um, all those little dots are just pilling and there's a little bit on the other side as well and the sweater shaver can actually take care of that pretty quickly so again I'm just going to lay this flat make the fabric smooth and I just have it on my rug but honestly it's probably better to do it on a table so I'm going to just take my Wonderlint turn it on And as you can see, all of that pilling went away. I'll use my little lint roller, but it's smooth now, which is awesome. So you can basically make your t-shirts, once they start looking a little bit worn, make them look nice and clean again. The final demo I'm gonna do is the sweatshirt, and if we look up close, you can see all of that fuzziness, all of that pilling um, is pretty much on the front and kind of under the arms. So I am going to, again, take my sweater shaver, make sure the item is flat, 
and then lightly go over it. I don't want to push too hard. I don't want to like catch the fabric. You definitely need to be careful. Going to lint roll real quick just to get up any kind of fuzz and we're gonna go in a little bit closer again and you can see that is so much smoother um, this burnout type of fabric can peel pretty quickly so that's just a quick and easy fix to get rid of it so there's my quick and easy demo on how to use my favorite sweater shaver at the moment the wonder lint I absolutely love that thing it is such a beast but I hope that helped to just see how you can use it on different items different types of fabric the key is making sure that your item is laying flat and then don't push too hard with the sweater shaver. You just wanna be gentle with it because if you're too hard or the item's not flat, then that the um, material can get caught where the blade is and you can accidentally cause a hole in the item. I have done that before and it's the worst. So just be careful with it, but you can make so many items look new again. And please thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it. Hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed to my channel already and I will see you soon. Bye.